What is going on guys? My name is Fusions and today I'm going to open up this Bakugan, Ventus, Mutasect and RLS Stardox Geogun Brawler Pack. It's a big one. So let's get started guys. Okay guys, so today we're opening up another Geogun Brawler Pack. These are the newest uh, Brawler Packs, the newest things from Bakugan, all these Geogun Rising stuff. And I'm excited because we got more Geoguns in here. As you guys can see, we got two of them and then we got three Bakugan. We actually have these right here. So we got a Ventus Mutasect and Aureolus Stardox, which actually looks pretty cool. I want to see how that one is. We got another Dragonoid, which is a Darkest and a Pyrus Falcron. I think that's how you say that one. And then we got a Darkest Fennica. So these Bakuguns are all new, uh, the newest things. So yeah, that's why it's it's very exciting, especially because of the Geoguns. So let's open this up and let's see what's inside. Okay, so I just opened up the top. Now let's take everything out and let's see what we have in here. There we go. Here are all the goodies. There we go. Okay, so first let's take this out. And then here we have the cards. Here they are. Let's take the Bakugan out first. All right, so the first one is this one right here. We got Mutasect, which is the Ventus one. And I forgot to mention, I actually opened up one of these Brawler packs already. So if you did not check that video out, make sure you go back and check it out because we got some nice Bakugan in that uh, Brawler pack as well. So here is Mutasect. Here we have Stardox. I think this is Falcron. This might be Fennica. And then we have Dragonoid for the last one. Okay, pretty cool. This is actually going to be my second uh, Dragonoid from the Geogun Rising. So that's pretty awesome. So here we have the, a guide on how to play with the gate cards. And we also have some gate cards, which are actually pretty nice to, again, to play the game. Here are three of them that we have in this one. Here is uh, Pyrabian, I'm pretty sure. Very nice. We've seen this art and I think it was an Age of Arles card. So pretty nice. We also have a Gelator. Okay. Very cool. I really like collecting these gate cards because you can also play with them. So I want to try that out. And then we have a Gortheon for the last gate card. Very cool. This Brawler pack also comes with some action cards. So here we have uh, the action cards. Eldritch Darkest Doom. Very cool name. Two energy, minus 700. Pretty nice. Ventus Shadow Cat. Whoa, what's that? Okay, pretty cool. Zero energy. Aquos Stream Strike. Very nice. Look at that Drago. Body Crusher. Okay. And we have Triple Blazing Barrage. And also, this is a new symbol for Secrets of the Geogon. Very cool. So these are like my first cards from uh the geogun set like i said i already opened one of these so these these are another five now i have 10 cards from the new set all right so those are pretty nice now let's take a look at the cores so here are the cores that these bakugan come with here's a shield we got a aquos and pyrus plus 400 this is actually one of the newest shields and i think it's very useful i'm gonna use this a lot for sure we got a Flame Fist, plus 250B and plus 3 attack. We've seen this one before. Pretty good. A regular shield, plus 200B. Uh, there's no point on using this one if you're using the other one, in my opinion. We got a Helix, a minus 200B, minus 2 attack. Little trap. We got another Helix, minus 100B and plus 4 attack. And then we have this last Helix, plus 300B and plus 3 attack. Could be pretty good. We got some nice cores in this one. And of course, we got that new one, that shield, which was a new one. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Bakugans. The first one that we're going to look at is... Okay, so we got Dragonoid. Darkest Dragonoid. This is the new Dragonoid from uh, Geogun Rising. They always make new Dragonoids. He has 600B and 3 attack. And we got a victory. If, uh, if you win with this Bakugan, you get that little symbol, with, which I think is called Scan. But I know that um, the symbol means that you look at the top card of your deck. If you like, you can leave it on top or you can move it all the way to the bottom. So it could help you. Like, let's say you you look at it and it's a flip card. You want to put it on the bottom. And now you know that at the end you have a flip card, 
which could be very good. It could save you. And then it carries a shield, a heal, and a helix. Pretty nice. Um, 600, it's medium. With the helix, you could get to 1250. So it could be good because of that victory ability, but I don't know. We got Enoch as well. Enoch is pretty nice. Okay, let's take a look at the Bakugan. If I'm not mistaken, it is this one over here. Let's see how it opens up. We're gonna put a cord down. Here he is in ball form. You can't really tell. I mean, you could tell that these are the wings for sure. But let's see. Let's roll him onto the core and see how he opens up. Three, two, one. Brawl. Okay, very nice. I, and the other brawl, brawler pack that I opened, we actually had an Aurelis Dragonoid. And it looked very cool. This Dragonoid just looks uh, really cool. I really like the design of the Bakugan. They made him look like if he's an Ultra. I mean, he just looks big. Look at him. He's pretty big. I like this Drago. What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments. For the next Bakugan, we have... Okay, so we have another darkest Bakugan. We got Fennica, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we got 300B and 5 attack. Okay. Uh, the B power is a little low, but it does carry a shield and a flame fist. Also, if you land on the flame fist, you get an extra plus 500B. So that's 800 plus whatever the fist gives you which is probably going to be like a 250. So you will get to 1050 um, right off the bat and you get five attack with that. So that's pretty good. Um, I would say that's actually pretty strong. Uh, if you can get a second flame fist, that would be insane. But, you know, it just depends how you play with this one. Again, I don't think these have any evos yet. I haven't seen anything about any uh, evos on these Bakugan. But if they do get some... Uh, they're gonna be pretty strong like this one could be could potentially be pretty good We're gonna put that in the back and we're gonna take a look at the Bakugan now. Here it is in ball form Just looks very normal. It looks like it might not have that many parts that many moving parts. Let's see um, If we can open this Bakugan All right, three two one bro Yep, like I said uh, this one doesn't look like it has too many moving parts. It looks very, very simple. This is Fennica. Very cool, though. I like the design. They're getting better with the designs, for sure. They, they just look a lot better than uh, the other ones. The other Bakugan from before. Yeah, I really like the design. It looks cool. But, like I said, very, very simple. Compared to the Dragonoid, this thing is, is very simple. Very nice, though. I like the Bakugan. Up next, we got... Okay, so we got Falcron. Look at this. It looks like a bird, but like a person. And then it's it's like, it, I guess it's a falcon, right? <laughs> Very cool. 700B, one attack. But it comes with double helix. Uh, I don't know. Dragonoid is also a Pyrus. And he's just pretty strong. He's pretty strong. So I don't know if um he's going to be able to compete with him. But like I said, we don't know if we have any evils for all of these. Bakugan could be strong if he gets an evo or you, we never know. We never know. But cool Bakugan. It looks it looks pretty cool. We're going to put it back here. There we go. And then here it is. This is Falcron. You can see the head right there, like the little beak. And we got the wings. You can clearly see the wings right there. We're going to open it up. Put it right there. There we go. And now let's open up this Bakugan. All right, three, two, one, bro. Ooh, okay. It looks, wait, now that I saw it from here, it kind of looked like Fennica, like the same way. I don't know why, but it looks derpy to me. But again, cool, cool designs. Look at the wings. We got the little hands right there as well. The little feet right there in the front. No, these don't, oh, they move up and down. There we go. Yeah, nice in the little tail. There's like a black part. Like the body is kind of, it's black. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I think it is, but it just looks kind of odd because it's all pyrus. And then we just have like a little black spot right there. 700B on the wing. Very nice, very cool Bakugan. But again, the stats, since we have Dragonoid, it might not be good enough for a pyrus. All right, guys, so now we're going to go to the main event. 
the Geogons. First, we're gonna look at this one right here. Okay, so we're gonna look at Ventus Mutasect first. This Geogun is actually very nice. This one in particular costs three energy to play. We got 1100 B power and eight attack. Wow, that attack is, that, that seems really strong for eight attack, seems kind of good. And then we got a, if you land on a flame fist, you get plus four. So that's, that's another four that will make it 12. Wow. That seems pretty strong because it costs only three energy to play. And then if you land on a helix, you get plus 200 B and shadow sneak. So you can, let's say you land on a helix. That's plus 600 minus three attack. You do not get the minus three attack because you get the shadow sneak. So you potentially end up getting 1900 B power and eight attack that seems pretty strong because you only pay three energy to play and then these geoguns as you guys can see this is the same back as a regular action card so i'm pretty sure you play this in your deck and then you play from your hand when you play a geogun i still don't know the full rules on how to play with geoguns but that's kind of how you're going to be able to play it uh, i will explain as soon as i get the complete rules, all the info on how to play. Okay, so here's Mutasect in the ball form or more like an oval shape. Uh, and this, these Geogons, you actually have to drop them. You don't roll them. So like we see the magnet, which is this one right here. And then we go one card space away, like upwards. And then we drop it from there onto the core. So three, two, one, there we go. And then you drop it into action. Here it is, Mutasect, 1100 B power right there on the stomach, it looks like. Very nice uh, Bakugan or Geogun. It just looks very cool. I already, this is my second one actually. I've already opened, uh, like I said, I opened one of these already. Very nice. I like this Geogun. It is not my favorite, but I really like this one. And here's the last Bakugan from this box. We got this Geogun. RLS Stardox, two energy to play. So you can basically play this on turn two, maybe turn one, 800B and four attack. Not only that, but you also got some abilities. You land on a green fist with this one, plus 600B. So let's say you land on a green fist, you're all the way up to 1400 already, plus whatever the green fist gives you, maybe like another 150. So you're like a 1550 with four attack. That's pretty good. It's very easy to play two energy. So this could actually be pretty nice. And then we got a shield plus six attack. So if you decide to line on, land on that, you get a, all the way up to 10 attack. Very nice. I feel like this one's actually pretty strong, even though it looks simple, but I feel like it's it could be really strong. We're gonna put this back here. And let's take a look at the Bakugan itself, the Geogun itself. It's just a simple pyramid. We got the magnet all the way in the bottom. So. You're probably just going to have to drop and these just drop down exactly how you see it on the character card. OK, so let's see. Three, two, one. Bro. Yep, exactly what I thought. Very nice. We got like a the eyeball in the middle. The design of this one is amazing. I really, really like this one. Just look at it. Wow. Look at that. This design is actually insane. I feel like this is turning into one of my favorite Geoguns already. Just because I like how it is. And like we got the 800 B power right there on the back. I just like how it looks. What do you guys think of this uh, Geogun? I'm really curious of what you guys have to say about this one. Because this one just looks insane. I really like this Geogun. Alright guys, so that's it for this Geogun Brawler pack. We had some amazing Bakugans in this one and some really cool Geoguns as well. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. From all of these, I think my favorite is the Stardox. I don't know why, but I just really like that Bakugan, that Geogun. But let me know in the comments, like I said, which one of these is your favorite. Subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.